Nasdaq finally dropped. That's what my friend messaged me last night. I dropped about 3%, about 599 points. The question you might have is that, is that trend still in tech? Is it still time to look into buying tech stocks? Or is this going to be a huge correction? Today, in this video, I'm going to show you a very simple method. And you're going to use this method to find out and to answer the question whether Nasdaq is still uptrend. Have you clicked the subscribe button? And how about a like? From late of 2021, Nasdaq dropped about 37%. So this pretty much set the Nasdaq into a bear mode. However, it has since started to climb. And right now, it's obvious it is in an uptrend with a higher highs and a higher low. So this would be the higher highs that each time Nasdaq make versus the previous high. And the higher low each time make versus the previous low. Well, take a look at the recent correction from 2023 until mid-April 2024. Each of the corrections is about 12%, average 12% because we saw about 11 to 12% here or a 8 to 9% correction. Alright, so this means that whenever Nasdaq moves down, like let's say around 8 to 9%, or maximum in the 11 to 12 percent so this is seen as healthy because you know theoretically if we see a correction that's around more than 20 percent it will set the market into a bearish mode but this is just a healthy correction which we see as a retracement to a buy point right if you go along this argument here this means that right now if nasdaq is to drop that means that from here, it could drop about, let's say, an average of 9%. Right? That's pretty much set it still into an uptrend because then it is still making a higher low. That means that if we predict that this as the lower low point here, then this point here is still making it as a higher low, right? Because for uptrend, we need to see a higher high, which is here, the higher high versus the previous high. We need to see a higher low as versus the previous low. Now, let's assume that NASDAQ is to drop, let's say, an average of 12%. So this is a 12%, which is coming inside here. Now, it is still in an uptrend because it means that it will get supported into this previous high here. So that's where technically a previous resistance would right now turn into a support again. And this region would be where NASDAQ could be around the 18,200 to 18,400. So I would view that this level here, which is 18,200 to 18,400 as a strong support level. Now let's take a look at the more recent price action. Previously, it was moving into this region here, right? That's the uptrend, but it went slightly a little bit steeper okay where each of the retracement or rather each of the correction is slightly lesser than the previous one so the previous round we saw a correction of three percent 2.5 and 3.8 maximum so in this case here if you look at past historical performance then it could mean that an average of a correction not more than four percent as seen as a healthy correction for Nasdaq to stage a rebound. So then the next question would be, is the current drop right from the high to the current price here, is it more than 4%? Now, if it's more than 4%, that could mean that the bulls right now are not coming in to buy on each of the rebound and that the bears are gaining a little bit more strength. Let's measure into the current correction here. And we are looking at that last night close at about 4.2%. In terms of points, then last night that have a total correction from the high about 800 points, whereas the previously we saw a maximum about 700 points. In this case here, there is a hint that the current movement now could be a lot more bearish than what we have seen previously. Now in this case here, what would be a stronger support for Nasdaq would be if Nasdaq can drop an average of let's say 8 to 9% or an average of 12% and that would set it into a stronger support level for Nasdaq. Now, if it drops more than, let's say, 12% into the region of, for example, 15% or even 19%, then we might see the current uptrend that we are seeing from the 2023 till now starts to weaken a lot more. For investors looking to tap into the short-term bearishness or to hedge into your long-term stock position, you have DLCs that's listed in Singapore Exchange. Now, if you go into, let's say, for example, one of the issuer, which is UBS, 
then select the underline as NASDAQ 100 and the direction as daily short. This would give you the list of DLCs, which is daily leverage certificates that's issued by UBS that allows you to tap into a bearish activity. So look out for daily shots and as well as those marked by this little red color symbol here. This shows that the DLCs requires the least amount of underlying asset change for the DLC to move by one tick. So it is more sensitive. Now the sensitivity means that for one tick of movement in the DLCs, it needs NASDAQ to move by let's say for example here, this DLC 19 points and this DLC 80 points, right? However, this particular DLC will require NASDAQ to move by 805 points in order for one tick change. All right, I hope that this very simple method gives you a very good perspective into how to evaluate whether NASDAQ is still strong in trend. And if you do have any other stocks or index that you wish me to talk about, remember to leave that in the comment section.